Hey guys, it's me Kelly and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a natural makeup tutorial. This is the finished product. If you want to find out how I got this natural makeup look, then keep on watching. So first we're going to start with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Any primer works, this is the one I have. You're just going to rub it all over your skin. Next we're going to do our eyebrows. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Dark Brown. And this is honestly my favorite. I'm like running out of this, so I got like another one. Hello. So this is what one brow is looking like right now. I just kind of filled it in, colored it in, and just brushing the hairs to blend what I just put down. Now that we have both eyebrows roughly filled in and blended, we're still going to carve our brows because even though it's a natural makeup look, our brows need to be carved. That's just like one of my main things I just need it. Especially because it's faster, I think, than just being really careful with filling in your brows. I just go messy and then I clean it up. So take any concealer you have. I have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Neutral and a flat brush like this and we're going to carve out our brows. First I'm going under my eyebrow following the natural shape with the brush and then I'm going to get more concealer and go on top if you ever make a mistake you can always go back in with your brow pencil and just fill in more and then use your concealer to carve it out again. The brows are now done and we're gonna move on to the face. So if you wanna keep it super natural, you don't have to do face makeup. You could just do brows, lashes, and lips and be done. But I'm going to do face makeup just because um, if you wanna know, you, this is an extra step you could do. So I'm getting my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation or any foundation you have. If you're going for a natural look, a sheer foundation is better, but I don't own any. So I'm going to use this. I'm just going to use a little bit. So right next to my concealer, I'm going to put a little bit like that. Beauty Blender is now wet. Oh, I'm so happy because it's, it's new, so it's like really nice. Okay, I'm going in with the foundation. So we're just going to spread the foundation all around. Still can't forget the neck though. Now we're going to contour. We still need some definition in our face because we just put on foundation and our face is looking flat. I'm going in with my Clinique Chubby Stick Contour. It's cream. And it's good for natural makeup because it blends really easily. But if you don't have this and you have a powder contour, it's also fine. Just make sure you go in with a light hand and don't use too much. Going a little bit here. A little bit there. That's it. Go back in with your beauty blender and blend it all out. Really 
So this is my face with the cream contour. Very natural, very nice. I love it. And now we're going to set our face. I have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. And this is great because it'll give your, your skin a nice glow. It's not too matte. So I'm putting this all over my face. I did not use any concealer under my eyes today because I don't really need it and it's just extra cake. But if you do have dark under eye circles, then go at, go ahead, use concealer. Yeah, it's your face, do whatever you want. Next, I'm going in with a peachy blush. Um, I like to use peach blushes just because it complements the warm tone of my skin. But you could use just a regular pink blush. So this is the Flower Beauty Flower Pots Powder Blush in Peach Primrose. Going in with like a big brush so everything is dispersed evenly. And just kind of swipe on your face a few times like that. You could also put some blush on like your nose. Give an overall sunburnt look. This is very natural. Now for highlighter, I have the Milk Makeup Highlighter. Um, this is cream and it's also great for natural makeup. So I'm just getting a bit of this going on my finger, warming up the product, and just tapping it on my cheekbone. I don't like to go straight in with the product because it won't blend as evenly. on your chin, definitely on your nose. And nose bridge. I put some in the inner corner of my eyes just to give my eyes a little bit more of a pop. You could also go in with a small beauty blender and Blend your highlighter that way. Maybe put some on your forehead too. Natural is all about looking glowy, so do whatever you can to make your face just glow. If you're like me and you still love a good blinding highlight, you can go back in on top of that cream highlighter with a different highlighter, this is the Becca Moonstone. Today I'm using a fan brush from e.l.f. just because my usual brush is kind of wet because I washed it. And also this gives you more of an intense glow, whereas the fan brush is more dispersed. So we'll go in like that. we're going to keep it simple, just curl your lashes and mascara. I'm using the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. If you're like me and your lashes are really short and you want like longer lashes and mascara just doesn't do the trick, then I would recommend putting on some fake lashes. I like to put on Ardell Demi Wispies. These are really cheap and affordable. Cheap and affordable. I like to wear Ardell Demi Wispies. They're really cheap and they're really natural looking. Whenever I wear these, people ask me if they're my real lashes or not, which, are, which is a good sign, I guess. They're great for any like natural 70s 
setting where you don't want to go like bam with your lashes. I really like that this is not an ad at all. This is not no promo. <laughs> what do you think I am? So I'm going to put these on real quick and be right back. I'm back with my lashes on. This step is totally optional if you don't have lashes or if your lashes are long enough. I just like wearing lashes, so that's why I put them on. Now for the last step, I'm putting on lip gloss. I have the Fenty Gloss Balm and this is my, one of my favorite natural glosses. It's really sheer and glossy, nice. You could also get um, similar sheerness, I guess, from ColourPop glosses. Like, I'm basically done with this because I use it so much. This is Here's To You, and it's also one of my favorite glosses because it's like sheer. Now all we need to do is set my face. I have the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And this is my face all done with natural me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this natural makeup tutorial. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, all my social media will be linked down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!